And in this episode, we're going to install the cobblestones in front of the new gate. So keep watching. Hi folks and welcome to the channel or welcome back. And as you can see, we started to dig up the cobblestones because I need to make sure that the cobblestones are going to start from here and will finish just underneath the door. So I have to remove, well, a couple square meters and then uh, we can replace them. Now these cobblestones are different sizes, they are not all the same, so that's going to make it a little bit more difficult to place them. You can see that we got big ones, but then I got real small ones, so all different sizes. So we'll have to sort them out a bit, trying to mix and match it together once we go into place it back. Once the cobblestones will be removed, I'm going to use this river sand, which is a really uh, very rough river sand. I'm a bit surprised that the cobblestones that were here stayed that long in place, even though there were wagons driving over it, there were cars over it. I mean, they must have been here for over a hundred years and they were just placed in dirt, nothing really special. But then again, I'm not surprised because if you look on the shape of these cobblestones, it's like a cone. So whenever the pressure comes on the top, they just go deeper in the ground, but as they get more and more surface while they go down, they really lock themselves in place. I'm always surprised uh, on how these cobblestones were actually chopped into those forms because somebody had to do this. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to create a plank on the side here so I can maintain the slope properly. Uh, so this is about one meter 50. I'm gonna place a plank on this side and also on the other side, and then I will use a wire from left to right just to keep that slope a bit in place because I am not a professional cobblestone placer. I've done it before, but uh, I'm really no good in it. I never throw away leftovers because they're always handy for whatever purpose. So right now I'm going to cut a couple of pickets that I can knock into the ground and I can put my planks against it. On my pickets and I'm just gonna put a point onto them so they go easier into the ground. All right so let's go and install the planks. So we have about 8.6 degrees on both sides. So now I'm going to level this a bit in the right direction because closer to the gate, I have a big gap and I want to have in all locations sufficient um, cement and sand to put them in. I kind of leveled the ground a little bit and there's a whole bunch of bricks and stones in it. But at least uh, it's a good uh, underground for the uh, sand and cement that I'm gonna put up. And I think that should be more than adequate because this, uh, 
underground is, well, very uh, solid with lots of debris inside in terms of old uh, stones and bricks. Now, just to give you an idea how much sand that will go under it is with actually placing a cobblestone. So the top of it will be equal with the plank and you can see how much we have left underneath. So that's quite a bit. So that should be good enough. And this is your medium sized cobblestone and these are the small ones. With these I even have more space underneath. So first I'm gonna put the sand in place, but not in the entire bedding, just at the first part. I will put some cement on it, we'll mix it on the spot, and then we're gonna put some cobblestones and we keep working our way back. And then we keep filling it with sand and cement. It looks like I'm gonna need another four or five bags. And so right now I have a fairly nice bed of sand here and the sand that I'm using is pretty rough. Uh, it has a large grain and the grain is actually a zero three. Now I'm gonna pour some cement on top of this and I got about 12 bags of sand here. So for stabilized sand, um, it is good to have a one to eight ratio. You can also use a one to six. I think I'm gonna use a one to eight ratio. So that would mean like one and a half bags of cement that need to go on here. We'll mix it all up. And then I'm gonna start placing the cobblestones. Now you can mix all this in a mixer if you want, but this is going fairly fast like this. So we have a fairly good mix, so now we can start. So we're gonna start off with the biggest ones first and then I'm gonna use the smaller ones. And that's the problem with cobblestones that come in different sizes. So the first row of cobblestones uh, is gonna be fairly easy. Um, I just have a string here just to make sure that I'm more or less level and I will place the cobblestones like so and uh, we knock them in gently with a hammer and this is how we're gonna go along end to end of course i will start in a corner and i will build my way through It's slowly coming along, but the first couple of cobblestones were really difficult to place. But now I can start with the smaller ones and hopefully it's going to go a little bit faster. We are done with the cobblestones. They are in place and it was a bit tricky at the end. But I think overall, this doesn't look too bad. So now I need to fill up the joints. And again, that's going to be with dry sand and cement and I still have to work out the edges. 
Next up is to remove the plank and then fill in the gaps uh, with um, cobblestones. Now it's just a matter of getting all this stuff out and then reinsert the cobblestones. And again, this is a little bit of fiddling to get it done right. Uh, there's a lot of options here. I think I'd like to try something like that. Of course, slant it for some stabilized sand again. And then I'm gonna work it my way up from this row upwards. I already have removed one extra row so I can give it a little bit more of a slope so it joins up. This is a Remix of stabilized sand because I don't need that lot a lot, so I just got a bag of premixed. And now it's time to fill up all the joints uh, with stabilized sand and then we let it rest and it's all done. And here we have the side that we finished off. Um, I think it looks okay. It blends in all right. I, I, maybe I could have done a bit more work on the old cobblestones that are, were still in place, but these are so uneven. So even if I was to take these out, then I probably would have to take it a step further again and you keep going until the end you place them all. And that's not the intent. I finished off the cobblestones with some rough sand again on top and I rubbed it in a bit. Uh, it's going to act like abrasive paper basically to get some of that cement off the cobblestones. But now I'm going to let it sit for a couple of days before driving over it. And yeah, that was it. So in total, it took me about close to eight hours to get it all done. But at the end, I'm quite happy with it. So thank you for viewing and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.